If you own 250 XRP tokens, you should be aware that significant information about XRP has just been released, which is very exciting news for XRP holders. This video is jam-packed with current news and price-boosting information. So, to avoid missing anything, make sure you watch the entire video. Welcome to XRP Insider, where we provide the most recent XRP Ripple news. Please like, share, and subscribe to our channel to stay up to date on exciting news. Please watch until the end to learn more. Before we get into our first subject, let's look at the chart to see how the price of XRP is doing on August 27th. The price today is 0.33 cents 0.28 pence with a 24-hour trading volume of $1.1 billion. The price of XRP is down 5.2% in the last 24 hours and up 0.4% in the last 7 days. If you want to buy or sell XRP, these are some of the most active exchange websites. It has a circulating supply of 48 billion XRP coins and a total supply of 100 billion. GitHub and Qcoin tutorial now, let us not waste any more time. Let's get started with the video. As attention returns to the SEC v. Ripple case, the price of XRP rises. On Friday, XRP reversed after Fed Chair Powell sent riskier assets into the red. The spotlight is now back on the pending court decision on the Hinman documents. There were no significant updates from the ongoing SEC v. Ripple case to provide guidance. The lack of updates put XRP at the mercy of U.S. economic indicators, and Fed Chair Powell's economic indicators were overshadowed by his warning. It was a busy Friday session, with U.S. economic indicators supporting XRP before Fed Chair Powell reversed course. Investors reacted favorably to lower inflation data. Despite low personal spending figures, in July, the core PCE price index increased by 4.6% year-on-year, down from 4.8% in June. Personal spending increased by 0.1% in June, compared to a 1% increase in May. Economists predict a 0.4% rise, while XRP has returned to sub-$0.36 levels ahead of U.S. economic indicators. Fed Chair Powell pushed XRP to a day low of $0.333. Fed Chair Powell reminded markets of the Fed's commitment to bringing inflation back to target. Powell discussed the likely consequences of the Fed's goal, including the impact on labor market conditions. The Fed Chair also dashed any hopes of a policy shift by emphasizing the need for a period of sustained below-trend growth alongside a weaker labor market in order to keep inflation under control. If you're still looking at the video, you can help the channel by liking and subscribing to this video, and remember to stay tuned so you don't miss out on anything. Let us not squander any more time. Let's move on to the rest of the video. Armstrong, Pen Akabot Boy believes XRP will skyrocket in the next six months. In a video titled Bitcoin and XRP to Best Opportunities and Crypto for his super popular YouTube channel, crypto analyst and influencer Ben Armstrong, who is the host of the YouTube channel BitBoy Crypto, discussed XRP, which is currently the seventh most valuable crypto asset by market cap. Here's what Armstrong had to say about Ripple and XRP. Ripple is continuing to make moves. On July 7th, Ripple announced on its Insights blog that it had hired Send as managing director of its European operations. Ripple said Yun would oversee strategy and champion the expansion of RippleNet, the company's global financial network technology that provides financial solutions that allow customers to easily run and scale their businesses. Yun spent five years at MasterCard, where she held leadership roles in strategy, commercialization, bank fintech partnerships, and business development. Ripple has made an investment in Mintegral. According to the announcement by the Mandible, the other participants in the $13 million series funding round included Animoca Brands, the leading mobile and blockchain game developer. Metaverse is the largest NFT investment fund in the world, backed by MetaCovid. Doug Bannister, an American businessman and former Bill Clinton advisor, and John Oringer, founder and executive chairman of Shutterstock believe that XRP will crush it this year. 
For those who are not philosophically opposed to this centralized banker coin, XRP is providing an incredible opportunity, with Ripple ready to invest if necessary to enter the South American market. According to Armstrong sources, central banks appear to be preparing to use XRP. Once the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission SEC's lawsuit against Ripple Labs is resolved. In a blog post on July 4th, Ripple announced that it is testing a private version of the open-source public XRP ledger XRPL to enable central banks to create and manage their own digital currencies. The XRP ledger was founded in 2012 by David Schwartz, Jed McCaleb, and Arthur Brito, and XRP is its native currency. More than 80% of the world's central banks are actively exploring some form of sovereign-backed cryptocurrency, according to Ripple, and there will eventually be a wide range of central bank digital currencies. CBDCs, Ian went on to say that existing public blockchains cannot meet the needs of CBDCs because a central bank requires more transaction privacy and control over its currency than a public ledger can provide, implying that the central bank will most likely create a CBDC on a private ledger that can also operate at the required scale. A choppy start to the day saw XRP rise to an early high of $0.3 for dollar before falling to a low of $0.3 $3 technical indicators and XRP moved through the $0.34 pivot with support a run at the first major resistance level R1 and $0.36 XRP will require broader market support to break out of the $0.35 range. In the event of a prolonged crypto rally, XRP is likely to test resistance at the Friday high of $0.37. XRP, on the other hand, would most likely fall short of the second major resistance level R2 and $0.31. R3, the third major resistance level, is at $0.42. Following Fed Chair Powell's speech, investor attention will most likely shift back to the SEC Fire Ripple case. If the pivot is not crossed, the first major support level will be 1 and 0.3 to $8. In play, XRP should avoid falling below $0.32, as well as the second major support levels of 2 and $0.30. The third and final major support level is $0.27. At the time of writing, the EMA and the hourly candlestick chart below sent a bearish signal, with XRP trading below the 50-day EMA at $0.34. Following Monday's bearish cross, the 100-day EMA retreated from the 200-day EMA, and the 50-day EMA retreated from the 200-day EMA, indicating that the price signals were bearish. A further pullback of the 50-day EMA from the 200-day EMA would expose the major support levels. Moving through the 50-day EMA of $0.34 in XRP, on the other hand, would give the bulls a run at the 100-day EMA of $0.354 and the 200-day EMA of $0.358. We would like to point out that this is not a channel designed to provide financial advice, and we do not encourage you to invest in any company. This is simply a channel for delivering educational content to your door. See you next time on XRP Insider, the number one crypto news channel.